it's the Ask Steve Show and this is Steve and today we're going to do a how to and it's going to be on how to load the labels in a Godex HD 90 printer and as always we're going to have the bad photo ID of the day at the end of the program. Um, so to get, before we get started on showing you the how to, I want to go over this printer which is the uh, Godex HD 90 printer. This will print up to a four and a quarter inch label and it, it also prints tags or tickets. It prints at a very quick speed of six inches per second, and it does it at 300 and, uh, 203 DPI, and it's a heavy duty direct thermal printer, so that means it doesn't need a uh, ribbon in there, so you save money that way, and that also helps with the speed. It's made for high volume applications. It has a big one amp motor that delivers a powerful performance, and it comes standard with USB serial and parallel ports. Uh, Ethernet is an option that you can get on this, so if you want to network it, Ethernet is available as an option, and so is a cutter if you have stock that needs to be cut. It comes with free Seagull scientific drivers and free Q-label software and database, so you have, you're all set to go as far as getting going on this. It has the best warranty in the business, which is three years, um, and bef bef that's that's why what makes it such a great printer. So now to show you how to load the labels into this printer is uh, Douglas from our tech department. So he's gonna come in and show us how to load the labels. Thanks Steve. Sure. So with the printer, you're gonna get this green core. Um, it's not in the printer, it comes separate with it. And so what you want to do first is on the side, there's two large button looking things and uh, those actually just barely push in we pop up um, right here also is a label loading um, guide and then from here inside you actually want to these two green tabs right here you want to push in and pop up from there you want to load the ribbon make I mean the labels make sure the label comes over the top you want to drop it in like so so you can see it. From there, you want to come under the print head and into the guide tabs, which you can make a little bit bigger. And once they're in there, you can go ahead and make them smaller. It will guide it to the middle. From there, pull a tiny bit, push it down, shut the cover, and you're ready to go. All right, simple as that. As you noticed on there, the green, where it's in green, the plastic is where you are the touch points, so it makes it real easy to operate. As promised, here's our bad photo ID of the day. And while you're looking at that, if you have any questions, submit them to us on our Facebook portion of our website. If they're used on the program, we'll send you a nice little gift. Appreciate the participation. And as always, call ID Edge at 800 798 3343 or go to our website, idedge.com. It will help you in any way we can. We're here to here to make your life easier.